here at the GSL. Uh, Kodas. I was distracted by the uh, beauty of this map. This map, when they do it like this with that music, reminds me of Cowboys vs. Aliens. Have you ever seen that movie? What? Cowboys vs. Aliens? Is it new or old? New. Oh, is Spielberg direct that? I don't know. Or, I think, wait, that Harrison Ford or something? Yeah. I didn't see it. Is it good? Yeah, actually, it was, it was worth watching. I have questions, but give me one second. In the right. upper left, <laughs> we have the Cowboys. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Here's I am happy. That's a cowboy, guys. There he is. Looks like Harrison Ford, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Oh, totally. The resemblance is uncanny, Artosis. Yeah. In the bottom right, we have our Protoss player, the aliens. He is... Genius. So is that movie actually good? Because I, I saw a it's trailer for that. Good. I thought the prep... Okay, but is it like... You know how you know how cynical of a human being I am? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, they didn't take themselves too seriously. But okay, it wasn't like right. comedy either. Yeah. It, no, it was... It was uh, as good as you could ever imagine that Did you, that did you would see be. Avengers yet? Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, you should. It's worth seeing. It's worth seeing? Yeah. You're not going to like how accurate that guy is with the bow, though. Like, listen, I can take people having superpowers being able to fly and, like, turn into invincible green monsters and, you know, just, like, this call down lightning. But the guy that, like, shoots that bow and, like, the way he was shooting that bow, no, Tasteless. I could... I just... There's something about... That like hawk guy, it really rubbed me. The well, wrong I mean, let's way. face it; it's hard to take a guy with a bow seriously. Like, we turn to a green Listen, monster. I'm like, well, that's serious business. I tell you what, I take Legolas very seriously, but it's just th this guy with the bow. He's like, he's like shooting it behind him and hitting stuff. He's just, it, it's silly. It was silly. It was over the top. Even for superheroes, it was like, all right, really. Really? Like, how do you? Gonna, how many arrows did you shoot? How many arrows are in that quiver? Like, you shot how many? You were there for that long with people that just have like guns and stuff, and like unlimited <laughs> ammo, and they, you know, you. What, how many did you get with those 40, 40 arrows? Truly, how many did you get? And he's like, well, if you know, every time we see him, this, he's shooting this nonstop, arrows? and it's like, well, based upon the length of this battle, how many of you killed? You killed like four hundred with like forty arrows. Like, how is this? How is this actually? Did the happening? arrows blow up or do anything impressive? Oh yeah, he has all sorts of different heads that he okay. puts on the arrows, which that part was cool. But just look, his accuracy was too much for me. I, I can, get it. I can take I get it. I can take I everything it. else, not that though. But anyways, the rest of the movie was it was it was pretty good. I'm gonna check it out. Somehow I've like not seen that movie. I don't know how that's. It's like one of those movies that like I should have seen, but I haven't seen it yet. Somehow. All right, so there is a StarCraft game going on. Yes. And happy to go for his command center first into Double Racks. We should be seeing Double Gas following that up in just a moment. Genius, on the other hand, very quick Nexus here. Now, um, this map is going to get more and more tense for both players as uh, if it goes into a long game, and it should because it's happy in the game. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> basically, uh, you're going to be expanding closer to your opponent after the third base. So, And if you, as you can see, the, um, the four expansions that are kind of in the middle... Uh, spaced apart perfectly, so you can have moments where there's counterattacks or base trades. Yeah, it's totally totally possible in a map like this. Oh, definitely. Yeah, if if you're on the wrong side, you know that's what happens, or is more likely to happen rather, if the game goes pretty long, mm -hmm. and you know you're attacking one of these side bases, and maybe they're attacking another side base, and then you're both like, well, screw it, let's just make a beeline for the main. Um, but you know, on this map, I feel like games end before that for TVP. This is a map where I see, you know. Base trades and half map, half map a lot in PVZ, uh, but on for this matchup, uh, I haven't seen as good or as long of games for for these two races. Two more gases uh, played it down here, and uh, it's interesting to see that Genius did not out of a best of three, he did not do one void rerush. Do you realize how yeah. long it's been since we've seen that <laughs> for him? Yeah, sure. He's, he always does at least one Void Ray Rush. He loves Void Ray Rushes, man. He's really he's the best uh, at that in the world. Sorry, Rotterdam, but uh, Genius <laughs> is the best at three-gate Void Ray all-ins. Um, now we have uh, more Marines <laughs> rallying up here at the end. Rotterdam's always talking about how he loves that build. That's I know. So, I love Rotterdam. Yeah, he's really cool. Now we have, um, yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's going to be a little passive here for a little bit, guys. They're just they're just massing up. They're powering, as we like to refer to it. 
Mm -hmm. Now, Taryn can always move out first here. You want to be careful with these Marines if the Stalkers are out in the middle of the map because you can kite the uh, Marines yeah. to a degree. But, you know, the one thing about kiting with the Stalker versus Marines is it's so not easy to do. Yeah, you really you gotta know? practice it. And if you misclick, the Marines screw deal damage so quick. Yeah, th that you're like one or two stalkers will die, and then you can just you mm -hmm. might may very well lose the game. Now Happy is taking control of both of the uh, towers. Genius probably will want to go out and clean that up in a minute. Very quick, quick. robotics bay. And yes. I'm not surprised because you got those two gases at the natural oh so quickly. I think this might just be a two base timing. Uh, and in fact, he's getting two forges, so it definitely could be still. Even though with two forges, you think, okay, he's going to play a little bit slow and take a third, which could be the case. But Genius has shown us in the past some very powerful 2-2 two -two upgraded uh, Colossus all-ins, where he just he walks across the map with like this insane force of three or four Colossus, a lot of Stalkers, and he'll just kill you with it. And in fact, uh, Squirrel's another player that does that occasionally. All right, again, Genius just turtle like he should be right now. Uh, once again, Happy going to move out. He now has the factory scouting around the map. And this phase of the game, as you can see, right around nine minutes or so, it's uh, a point in time where Terran is going to have complete control of the map. Yeah. If you're doing the standard play like this and you're putting a reactor on the starport right now, that means your factory just took off. You scout with the factory. You're going to have the watchtowers. Protoss can't leave. Um, if they do, well, it looks like he actually is going to leave, Ooh. but generally you got to be very careful because he can get flanked. Yeah, that could have been bad. As you can bad. see, this map's like uh, pretty open. There's not a lot of like valleys or narrow corners, so you can actually get surrounded and the force fields just aren't actually going to be good. Now, he does have an observer spotting to see anything coming in. He does have oh, that he first saw that Colossus. Colossus. Yeah. Very important. That's going to help him to actually hold this off. Happy may try to harass a little bit in the main base in natural. See if he can catch Genius out of position. If you can, you can do a lot of damage, of course. But Genius, with his standard Zealot warping in the main to deal with drops, he loves to just have Zealots sitting around in there. Figures, oh, I don't really need those at the front, you know? Uh, so, good call by him. Nice peeking there with the factory. Um, <laughs> and Happy, look at this, another Starport. So he's really, he's going for Super Viking again. And uh, you know what? This time, this I think, time I think it's going to work. Choice. Yeah, yeah, he's going up to that third Colossus, and if he has the right number of Vikings for this, because this really is beginning to look more and more and more like uh, just Colossus only play, where you have more Viking or more uh, Stalkers involved. If you can take out all the Colossi, the Stalkers die like instantaneously, but uh, instantaneously to yes. the Green Marauder. But here's the thing: is the Protoss is actually moving out now. So looks like he might here. be getting a one one time attack. Yeah, it could be. He, you know, he has a good amount of money. He has enough to get an expansion. Right around four hundred here. Nope, nope. I take it back. He's actually just going to do uh, a timing. So both these guys basically are going to do just timings to each other. Um, now, unknowingly, uh, if there's enough Vikings out here, Genius is just going oh. to die. Genius getting ready. Here he comes. Tasteless. Three Colossus are out. Oh. He's got to be careful not to lose anything. And here we go. The Vikings coming out as well. And a nice spread. Vikings targeting down Colossus. One does fall. The second one is under attack. And it's going to fall in just a second here. A nice spread again by our Terran player. The Spike Stalker's trying to take these Vikings out, but he has enough. Still a lot of Stalkers wow. here. He's got to be careful. Yeah, not enough uh, medevacs there to really heal. Now he's... Still, this is a scary armory by Genius with those 1-on-1 upgrades, but as more and more Marines and Marauders pop out, for Happy, he's going to be pretty safe. He's not lifting up. That's right, bringing these SVs down. He's going to land these Vikings. Uh, the Medivacs are... No, they're not empty, actually. One yeah. is still uh, plugging away. And, and he's going to remake a bunch of Zealots here and attack it again. He does have another Colossus coming up, and this might be the game changer. Only one Viking is left over. Another one is in production. He's got to lift that Viking that's on the ground. He needs to probably wall in now, or like, well, yeah, lift up the gate. He might want to think about doing that. Uh, but then again, the Colossus can poke a bit more uh, if he does do that. That's true. Now, he does have more Vikings in production. The important thing is to be able to take that Colossus up. That is the entire backbone of this army of genius. This is just pure Okay, there's brute three force. about to pop out. The second Colossus is coming. Yeah, he's not going to commit until that second Colossus gets up there, I think. Just going to poke 
try to take out depots. Those depots do mess with the AI of the Protoss units a little bit while they're attacking. Yes, the Stalkers in the back ended up attacking those depots first, so that's a very, very frustrating thing. Now, there's a lot of Stalkers out here. He can actually cover these Colossi if he does it right. Genius. He's got to put his Zalts in the front for this attack. Happy bringing SCVs down, realizing this is going to be a very difficult push to hold. He needs to keep enough units alive that when his Vikings end up killing Colossi, that he has enough units left to kill them. So that's going to be very difficult. Notice a lot of SCVs did die because he had to pull them to hold initially. 107 supply to 138. Look at how patient Genius is. He's actually just sitting here saying, all right, I'm going to wait for another Colossi. And I don't think you're going to have the economy to actually get your Viking and Marine and Marauder. Oh, he's moving concept. out now. I think he thought he was right outside. Oh, if he had gotten that pylon when that stuff was warping in. But now here comes Genius again. I notice he has SCVs with his army, so G uh, no, excuse me, uh, Happy does. All right, can he get can he shave off these depots? That would be huge. Yeah, he really wants to kill those before moving up. Get big move. And nice volleys by these Vikings. Almost loses one there. But one of those Colossus, very low on health now. In fact, he will lose that one Viking that was hurt. He's got to be careful. The, the Stalkers are actually so fast, they can end up uh, getting in front of the uh, Colossi. Yeah, now, uh, Genius does have a lot more supply, 40 more, in fact, right now. But a good portion of that is in workers, about 19 more workers. And he's also got to be careful, because we're seeing his uh, whole army just grouped into one hotkey. And he needs to be super careful about that. He needs those Zealots in front to tank damage, so his... Uh, Stalkers can actually do what they need. Oh man! Right, you can see he's actually just trying to buy more time. So he's giving me more supply, more supply, more supply. All right, here we go. And Happy's going for it, but his Marines getting absolutely shredded. These Vikings going after the Colossi. Only one left oh over. Oh my God! But uh, Happy's kiting pretty damn well. Yes, he is. But now his Vikings are going to be picked off oh so quickly. And this is a lot of Stalkers and Zealots. Another Colossus coming up, and Happy I think is overextended on this part of the map, Tasteless. Yeah, he's actually in front. Okay, yeah, that I think is it. He's an actually amazing micro. It's the smallest stutter steps I've ever seen, I think, but uh, not enough units left over. And Genius looks like he's going to take this set, Tasteless. Really nicely done by Genius. I am in love with uh, with his play right now. Yeah, his execution. Right. He was so patient back there. Yeah. So many people would be like, ah, I lost all my Colossus. It's the backbone. And he actually waited for three more. He's like, no. This is a three Colossus timing. Just kept, kept uh, stockpiling them. I was so surprised because I, even I would have honestly just either ran back home and tried to play a normal game or ran up there with just one Colossus. Yeah. And he's expanding, making more Colossus behind this. But his army is so large at this point and his money is so high that he can just do another big warping around and go up and kill Happy. Happy is only at 170 supply. Happy is only at a 72 supply. Or, yeah, that's... I don't know why I put a one in front of that. <laughs> now we have um, more Zealots coming out now. And uh, I think, I, I don't know what to say. I think he's just going to go up into the base and he's gonna kill him, him, it looks like. Yeah. yeah. Happy does not have much of a chance here, Tastes. He has one medevac, three Vikings. Ugh. Wow, Genius is being really cautious here. He does not want to lose this. You know, he might have a hard time putting himself exactly where he is. The battle where he actually killed so many SCVs off, that is part of the problem of why Happy's been having a hard time holding this. He may have... It was so frantic, you know. The, the amount of SCVs he killed he may not be aware of. He might not really realize, okay, you know, Happy, you can't really have all that much, you know. And, in fact, Happy's about to mine out anyways, so... The longer he waits, the bigger his lead becomes. Well, you know, the, the burden right now is on Happy to come up with a solution. Yeah. And that's what I really respect about Genius doing this right now. Is, you know, some people be like, go in there and finish him up. It's like, well, actually, about he doesn't really have to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's, Happy's the one who's got to figure this out. So, uh, a little drop over here, which uh, I'm sure Genius is warping some units to take care of. Looks like he's just going to bring everything home, in fact. Uh, his charge is almost done. And he will lose that robo. Yep, Storm um, about one-fourth of the way done. Yeah. Happy has to feel good about that draw. Feel like maybe he's fighting back. I'm sorry, Happy. You don't have any chance. <laughs> this is... Sorry to be anticlimactic, but these charge lots are just so powerful. And he has 32 charge lots, 19 stalkers, 5 high templars that are about to have Psy Storm, a single Colossus, and he's facing off against a measly army. He has a zealot for every marine on the field. Not the factory. 
Um, well, this is a, it really exhibits what you want to do once you're pretty much, you know no matter what you've won. Mm -hmm. But the only way that you could lose is if you were to barrel inside of their uh, base. Yeah. And let's say you run your Colossi into turrets or, you know, basically do everything wrong. Oh, that is the luckiest probe in the world. Just barely got away. All right, Tasteless. He's maxed out. All right, I, I think this will wait time any when longer. He finishes this. Nope. No, he's just gonna no chill. No <laughs> All right, so you know he might just be waiting for Happy to leave. Happy's gonna bring all his SCVs. So. All right, the final battle will happen now. Finally, <laughs> mm -hmm. and um, it's gonna be one that Happy should, by all measure, lose. You will. I mean, there's just too many uh, stormers, too many, uh, well, too many everything, too many Colossi, Stalkers, Zealots. All right, right, so get ready and watch a bunch of Terran stuff die. That's right, we're gonna see size storms and charge lots. And here we go. Happy trying to micro as best he can. He's actually doing a great job microing here. Yeah. It's just unfortunate that it's not enough. This is like no longer a game of strategy, it's a game of numbers. And Sidestorm just going off everywhere. Happy's gonna have to GG. Yeah, that does it. Any second now, we're gonna see GG here. With Happy uh, going down now, he will have to face off. Uh, GG. All right. 19 supply left. Realize no chance. You know, the end of that game was a little bit dull. Yes, it was. You know what I mean? Sorry, guys. Well, that's okay. It happens from time to time. It's not your fault, Tasteless. You think so? I'm yeah. sometimes I'm a little bit too hard on myself when these games are like, the best yeah. games in the world. You are? Um, well, Happy uh, did a good strat, but uh, Genius, his execution was stellar. Yeah. So it's going to be Genius against MVP next. The winner goes right onto the round of 16. We actually saw MVP uh, just walk to his booth there behind. Um, you know, our sponsor's products. So, Artosis, uh, what do you think, MVP or Genius? Oh, that's a good question, man. I mean, uh, MVP uh, obviously just won the finals against Squirtle, so I I think I'll give him the edge, yeah. I think so. Uh, Genius did show good play, but MVP is on fire lately, and uh, I think you got to favor him against basically everyone in the world right now. He's just too good. He is like the, I mean, along, I mean, that's T2, but MVP just keeps winning everything consistently. Mm. I mean, it's, I'm really curious uh, if this is going to go on for years. Is he going to teeter off? Or are people going to figure him out? Because he is just at this level that I have, do not see. Even the games that we saw in the series, um, like series one that we casted just previously, just like pulling those four SCVs. Mm hmm. When, when, when uh, a, a, a Zerg impulsively scuts him with a drone, which Zergs don't normally do that early, but he's like, okay, well, I have a trick that's going to give you false information so that you do the wrong thing. Yeah. I love stuff like that. Um, we're going to go cast MVP and Genius after this five-minute break, so stay tuned for more awesome action here at the GSL.